very low. Now he goes down here now. Good pick by Papa. Jarlin and Papa now free reign on Krimvix. He has no defensive, so he's got to be... Yeah, Ooh. that's going to be... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait. Was it just was for high. no way? Wow. <laughs> wow, I don't believe it. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Wait, but... oh, Hey, what's up guys? Grim XV here, fresh off of tonight's action pack content. For those that missed it, we had the first uh, monthly server tournament here on the V Arena server. This tournament was Battle Rising. If you don't know, it's uh, based off the SLS game called Battle Right. Really, really fun. I'm actually standing in one of the arenas here. Um, lots of action pack content, guys. The full VOD is on the official V Arena Twitch server. Definitely encourage you guys to go over there and watch the full VOD. I had a hard time picking out content here for this video, but I did pick out some of my favorites. So sit back, relax, watch some of this action pack content, and as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks. Yeah, so right sorry on. for the chat, guys. There's a lot of action on the screen, so I am uh, not doing a great job following up. But the orb right here in the middle, if they manage to kill that, it go ahead and gives them their ultimate. It gives them a percentage of it, or is it all of it, Ash? No, so so basically, uh, your ultimates are locked in this game mode, and you can't cast them as a cooldown. You ha you can cast them whenever you get 100% energy. Now, if you get the orb, you get 25% energy in one go, and you also get about 50 HP uh, uh, back. And that HP, by the way, Grim, goes even beyond the uh, the locked gray bar uh, set by Re-Rising. So it's kind of like wow. Batarite, where you can even heal up of it. Yeah, so it's really but the game, it, clutch item yeah. there. you can get it while low to get some HP back and get in the fight as well. Exactly, which is why it's really important to play around it. Uh, I think also they can get some of their ultimate back by just regular autos or any type of damage yeah. from the player as well, right? Any type of damage will give you some points. Awesome. Yeah. All right, there. So when our back down, we did see Chris and Cashmere kind of make a comeback there. They got a quick kill on La Boss now. Mech in a two v one situation. But he does have the HP advantage here, and he is playing a very sustained build. I think Team Chris might have got... No, actually, Mech got that, so he's got all that now. But he's getting locked down in a massive combo. Needs to try to get something going here. Huge ult coming out. They do land it. Do they get the follow-up? And... Oh, but he lands a Slasher. Huge for Mech. Can he live this? Oh, my God, the Mosquito. Oh my god, I don't believe I just watched that. That is disgusting. We saw the mosquito there at the end just clutching it out for him. Great job by Mech winning that 1v2. Let's see if we start off aggressive here. Early mosquito coming out by Sleepy. Quickly knocked away by Zeno. Zeno going all in on Sleepy early. I think yeah. he did switch to Discharge here. Probably a good move. Let's see if it pays off for him. Gets the follow up there on Sleepy Ren trying to follow up as well. Does get it. Eats through that Aegis. That's huge. That's a lot of early damage there that they've got on the team Sleepy. Nobody really seemed to focus on the orb. Sleepy, I think, gonna go ahead and try to capitalize, but no, oh, you know, denies it. That is massive for them. Misses the ult. Good ice block by Salt there in the back. Sleepy gonna look to re-engage here with his teammate. Going for the orb first. Salt is just eating free spear keys. Sleepy's gotta get in there and help him. Fire is starting to close in now, but Team Zeno just has a massive HP lead on this. Salt is very low. Great combo onto him as well. Good hard strike. Doing a pretty good job of being patient with this one. They're not playing the hand overly aggressive. They're keeping their HP advantage. Sleepy going straight for the orb here. Looks like he's going to leave Salt out to dry. Salt is just getting murdered though. A little bit of a questionable play there. Salt now extremely low as he eats another discharge. That discharge is going crazy for Team Zeno. Good heart strike from Salt. That might get him back in this. We'll see. But no, another discharge. That is massive. Discharge is disgusting right now. Sleepy and Salt both very, very low. Blind jerk greatsword and mace combo from Ren onto Sleepy. That is huge. Sleepy might go down here. He's very low. Zeno just barely touching the fire there. Team Salt doing everything they can to try to keep this keep themselves in this, but it is very hard right now. Good great sword coming out by Sleepy. Triggered yet another discharge though. And I think they did go ahead and get Salt down during that absence as well. 
Creepy now trying to do something here, but it's just gonna keep eating those discharges all day. The salt is actually alive in this. My apologies. Salt trying to do something here. He's gonna have to play this one pretty slow, but that fire is definitely not gonna be in his favor. Massive. That's, nice That's pretty good to them. That's huge. Oh, does he finish? Zeno! Oh, Zeno kills himself! That is huge for Salt. Can he clutch this out versus Win? This might be the upset. Oh no, Rin now needs to win this 1v1. He's very low on HP. The fire is close. I think Salt might just clutch this out. Oh, and the great sword cue oh, to finish oh, it. Oh, Holy oh, fucking do it, bro. Nice try. That oh, was crazy. <laughs> that, that was crazy. That was a big comeback. <laughs> well done. Hopefully we do see a swell spell, spell swap for him here, but let's see how they do it. Approach it going into fight two. Early boost up there to Nahi. Early they went on win uh, Rizzo, but looks like they're refocusing the Lumi here. Oh, yeah. We're seeing some uh, shake up of the spells. I'm seeing some void orbs and such, so let's see. Hopefully but, but I mean, so. like, look at that. Look at the chunking damage. Look, I yeah, mean, Lumi's, it's, 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 it's getting shredded right now. Pump him out by Nahi. And they just absolutely shred Tom. Tom was about 75% there. He just got completely destroyed. Trying to keep a good view of the action for everybody. Looney now getting picked apart as they refocus. See, this is what they like to do. They like to yo yo their yeah. attention. And they do a really good job of it. Now they're just all in again on Tom. And this is going to be really hard for him. I don't see him coming out of this one. It's really old. And yeah, that's, that's going to be it. All right, coming into round two here. Let's see if Lucy and Dr. Bones can pull this one back. It's like, oh, this is 1-1 one, one now, actually, by Rennie in the chat. So this is a tiebreaker round here. Squidly trying to poke with their crossbow there. Looks like Team Lucy, I think, was going to go ahead and secure that orb for their guy. That's a good advantage for them. Looks like they are running the wolf. This is a different approach than we've seen from the, from the fight so far here. You can see they're kind of keeping their distance, poking with the crossbows, taking their time. They're not just running this one down. This is a high stake match. Both of these teams are very skilled. Lucy looking to line up the uh, dash shot there. Couldn't quite get it. They still are, have a great HP advantage here as we see Squidly progressively get lower and lower. They're doing a good job of whittling them down. Dr. Bone's going to go for the orb there. They do secure it. You can see there by the glow, Lucy does have her ultimate now. I think Dr. Bones just barely missed one there. As he tries to circle and readjust it on Squidly. That was a great, great heart strike there by Lucy. Squidly now has his ultimate. He's probably going to pop it here. He's getting juggled right now with the greatsword cues. Yingle Bear and Squidly's got to do something different here, but they are getting massive damage on the Lucy. Great job once again by Squidly, kind of working the outside, making sure he stays healthy enough to stay in the fight here. They are going to go ahead and fight for Orb. Dingleberry secures it. That's huge for them, but Squidly unfortunately goes down. He barely gets the heart strike there on Lucy. Dr. Bone's still pretty healthy here. He needs to try to get Luthy as the circle comes in, or he's not going to have a chance here. Lucy, as you see, as Squidly did, just working the outside. They are going to go ahead and try to pressure him. Dingleberry doing a good job of trying to keep Dr. Bone's low as well. He's spreading his front pressure. Really doing everything he can right now, but with the CD advantage, this is very hard. As you can see, every time he tries to go in, he just gets punished here. Heart strike finally coming out from Lucy now. It's not looking good. I think he's that's it. He's gonna go down here. That's gonna be a 2-1 victory for Lucy and Dr. Bones. I know Jarlin's pretty decent. I'm not too familiar with uh the Papa's poop doll there. Not really too sure who he is, but that's a bit poopy. Name. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. To be honest, if you had told me that that name was Almonds, I would believe you. To be <laughs> honest. <laughs> All right, going to the next match here. Nahi and Krimvix laying down some early damage there on Papa. Jarly now stuck in a one v two as he goes for the health orb, trying to re-engage and regroup here. But Nahi, Krimvix, and Nahi doing a great job of just massively punishing Jarvan when he's low there. Seem to be keeping the focus. Nahi now getting caught out in a bit of damage as he tries to zerg him down. Nahi getting very low. Does have to go for the orb. Krimvix trying to come in and back him up. 
Nahi is sandwiched right now, though. Krimvix has got to get in there and help him out. See that forced ultimate by Nahi. Ooh, great Macy. Wow. Great Macy. I think they just barely touched the tip of the fire there. Good secure by Krimvix. See, he and Nahi both have their ultimates. So expect him to come out pretty soon there. You do see the angel just die there. Nahi taking a little bit of damage on the Axiom to tell in. Jarlin and Nahi about even on HP, but Krimvix just does do a lot of damage. They've got to be careful here. Krimvix getting punished heavily now. This is very back and forth. Jarlin very low. He might die here. Big ultimate comes out. Huge ultimate by Nahi. Good combo, but Aegis just keeping him alive through that. That is disgusting. They do see the golem come out here. I think he's going to live with that golem help. Do make a play for the orb. I think Krimvix got that once again. That was a good timing on his part. To be honest, both teams are making some good plays here. But... Absolutely. Very low. Now he goes down here now. Good pick by Papa. Jarlin and Papa now free reign on Krimvix. He has no defensive, so he's got to be... Yeah, Ooh. that's going to be... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 Was it just was for no way? <laughs> They all... Wow, I don't believe it. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Hey, Ooh, very nice with the fetch. Well, okay. Yeah, it's not second. Let's be honest. If it was like, you know, if it was an actual uh, arena, it would be a tie. So yeah. let's uh, let, let's let's run it again. All right, so we get to run this one back. Let's see who gets the tiebreaker here. Really excited match from these two last round. Let's see how they approach this one. Double lightning curtain coming out now. Orb is up in the center. Going to be secured by Krimix. Great mace Q there. Papa going for the spear Q. Falling a little bit short. It does get punished for it. Still, he and Krimix are about the same as H in HP value here. Papa there forced to go out for the orb. Jarlin now getting punished as he separates. Krimix taking massive damage. Krimix has got to be really careful. He usually does a good job of playing the edge, but without any defenses, he is leaving himself open to punishment right now. Nahi trying to come in and give him some support, but Krimix is getting very low here as you see Papa Ooh, just tunnel on him. Papa's poop doll. Let's call him Papa's poop doll. Papa's poop doll. PPD. 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 The pressure right there. Does get yeah. the kill on Krimix. PPD oh, actually now Nahi is going to too. Nah, he does uh, get the PPD, orb, yeah. but good timing on the lead there. Just avoided that massive spear keys coming in. Nah, he's trying to play this one smartly, but he's just at a huge disadvantage when it comes to cooling off right now. This is very hard to overcome. They've got the golem out as well. He is not going to do enough damage while that is up. And here we see him go down shortly. So PPD and Jarlin GG's. managing to ink that one out for the double 2-1 victory. Very exciting fights. All right, let's see who comes out on top of this. Can they ink this one back? Ash said earlier, Lucy does like to be a bit of a playmaker. She does often come back in these situations. Mosquito just lining up that lance once again. Oh, Gio is just absolutely picking those shots right now. He's making just a legendary a one and two situation. Not sure what happened to Gio. He's kind of just standing there. I think he might have had the AFK for a second. Chips have got a lot of damage taken right now. Lucy and Dr. Bones split. Looks like Dr. Bones went to grab a quick HP orb. Oh, and I think that might have been Dr. Bones that secured that uh, ultimate orb in the middle there. Looks like they are biding their time, trying to get themselves some distance here. And this is a bit slower than we've seen before. This is a high stake match right now. Dr. Bones and Lucy knows they need to win this. Dr. Bones getting caught out in the combo there. Lucy trying to circle around and cross some pressure relief here. Does get caught in the lance, double lance. Oh, that is tragic. Dr. Bones just miss, barely misses that ultimate. Geo as well missing his Arctic Leap. Those mosquitoes absolutely sticking to Lucy right now, but she manages to get away. 
fire is getting rather close now. I think this might be the closest we've seen the fire grid all match. This one is going a bit longer. Lucy there touches the fire just briefly. Good sortie on the Dr. Bones by Chipsa. Right into a mosquito, into a massive lance. That's so much damage. And Dr. Bones is going to quickly go down there. Those lances, once again, those lances were doing absolute work for Chips and Gio. Lucy here trying to win the 1v2, trying to play, play patiently. It is so hard when she's got that much on her. She has taken so much fire damage. That is absolutely oh, brutal. Oh, oh. That was <laughs> brutal. We've seen Bardo and Swan be pretty aggressive here, so it'll be interesting to see how they approach this. And we are here. Here we go, guys. Championship rounds. Quick Lance. Did not look like that one was going to land, but they do manage to get that one off on Bardo. Bardo and Swan pretty much right away going after Geo. They know they've got to get those Lances under control here. Chips are doing a great job of healing right now, getting those orbs. He is focusing the orb in the middle. Looks like Bardo and Swan did notice it. You see a little bit of pill off there by Swan trying to stop him. guys are dancing right now. Pay attention to how they're rotating out. They're doing a good job of making sure they're keeping aggro spread apart. Chips are doing a good job of front liner for Geo there. Like, make sure you can line up those shots. Good sword he picked there on, uh, on Swan. Doesn't quite get through the Aegis damage. Bardo now taking massive damage from the Great Swords. Chips as well taking huge damage in that exchange. Swan lining up there. Okay, good ultimate. Good ultimate there by Geo trying to cover uh, Chips there. They both re-engage on Bardo once again as well. You do see the fire come in. Swanifer here is going to try to get the orb, but I think Geo might have sniped that. Good awareness by him. Chips are now very low on the back line. Swan looking to apply pressure to Chips. Huh? Bardo as well trying to get some pokes in, but Chips' Aegis is just as strong as theirs. Doing a good job of that shield just eating up those autos. Do you see the Golem ult go out by them trying to buy them some time? Swan and Bardo once again trying to get a pick on Chipsa. Good damage on Chipsa there. Spear Q into the Greatsword. Chipsa and Geo's got to do something a little bit different here. It looks like Swan and Bardo are starting to pull ahead. Good pick by Chipsa. That was a great great sword on the Orb there. That gives them both their ultimate as you can see by the glow. Huge Archer League coming out on the Bardo. Can't quite follow it up. Bardo does manage to somehow get out of that. Chipsa and Geo hunting right now trying to get a pick somewhere. Oh my gosh, Swanifer lining up the laser axioms on that uh, Geo in the back there. Once again, it looks like Swan and, and Bardo have the HP advantage here. We, they do have their Golem ult right now. They're not going to take much damage. Massive, massive Spear Q poke into the fire. And we're going to quickly see Geo go down. Huge exchange there. Chips are now forced in a 1v2 situation. It's very hard to come back from. Is doing his best to stay alive, but he's just getting picked apart with the autos right now. And he's going to go down shortly. Very, very fast-paced first match here. No waiting, guys. We're going straight into round two. Remember, this is best of five. One up for Bardo and Swan. Once again, we see Swan kind of right away going for Geo, trying to make sure he keeps his attention with those lances. Bardo now in a 1v1 versus Chips in the side. You see a bit of a refocus there onto the orb, but Chipsa manages to ink it out. Great poke by him. Chips are giving some relief to Geo there as Geo runs for the orb. Both teams go for the orb. Looks like Swan denying the other one. Both players kind of taking their time here. Swan and, and Bardo know they need just two more and they've got this. Good pick by Geo on the Swan. That Spear Q, once again, you see that Aegis on, the art, on uh, Bardo just absolutely absorbing that Spear Q. It's so crazy how much that shields. Good focus with the, with the uh, Lancey on the Swan. This Gullah mode is absolutely going to just take so much damage right now for Geo and, uh, and Chipsa. Actually, Geo and Chipsa coming out in the HP advantage there. They had a chain of Mosquitoes on Bardo. Chips uh, getting, no, Swan actually getting very low chip damage there. Great job securing another orb for Team Chipsa. Huge lance by Geo, once again. 
been laser focused with those things all game. We do see Chips and Geo pulling ahead here as Swan gets very low. He's about half HP. Bardo trying to apply, apply some pressure relief, but he himself is getting low at that angel damage. Huge combo on the Swanifer there. Both players trying to rotate it out, trying to change priorities here as, as the flow of the fight changes. Bardo touching fire just a bit there. It's like he might have thought about going from your for a second. Once again, we've got an Angel and a Golem here in the middle. Looks like the Golem for Team Swan. Swan taking massive damage. Chips and Geo very healthy here. This is not looking good for Swan and Bardo. Huge combos on Bardo right now. They are just not getting through. Bardo getting pushed repeatedly in the fire. Swan caught out in the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, the pistol keys. You never would have thought. Pistol Key is actually doing a lot of work on Swanifer getting him in that fire right now. Look at that. Still fighting, guys. Not much room to go here. This is where the Mosquito is going to start to shine and they start to get forced into it. You can see the Reaper Cues coming out from Swan and Bardo trying to get a change here. Geo actually very low. Swan and Bardo somehow sustaining through this. Now Geo almost dead. Swan as well touching the fire repeatedly. Swan might go out here. Swan somehow still alive. Chipsa now on a 1v2. I don't believe it. This is quite the upset. Good pick by Bardo on Chipsa. Golem is out. It is keeping him alive, but this is difficult, guys. Whenever you're in this situation, it is so hard to come back from these. He just had a massive cooldown disadvantage with the flag as well. That is going to be it. For At least he didn't parry the killing blow. That would be bad, right? That would be it. <laughs> No idea how Swanifer stayed alive there, but he did keep his HP. Another win for Swanifer and Bardo. Good job clutching it out. We're, looks like we're going into a third round here. If they win one more, we will have our victors, guys. All right, guys, here we go. What could be the final round is underway. We need one more for Bardo and Swan. Chips in. Geo could very well still pull this back. That last round was very close. Quick sword he opened up by Chips there. Seeing them be a bit more aggressive this time. They know they've got to do something drastic to get through that sustain. Great juggles there on the Bardo. We do see them pull back here, trying to refocus on the orb. Do they get it? They do secure it. Chips have secured it with the great sword auto there. Swanifer now getting very low on this exchange, actually. Quick damage on the Swanifer from Chips and Geo. That aggression really is the way to go whenever you're facing sustain like this. Chips has got to be careful as well. He's getting low on that exchange back there. Swanifer now backpedaling as he tries to get some some sort of advantage here, but Swan might go down very early here. Geo's getting massive damage on him with that barrier. Swanifer still living. Looks like he's gonna try to secure the orb to get some HP back. Doesn't quite get it. That is huge for Geo and Chipsa. This might be a quick upset for them. Massive shield as you can see through that Aegis and Golem, but Swan is gonna go down there. Just give up, Bardo. Bardo now stuck in a 1v2. Very difficult situation. We're still early on in the match. They have plenty of arena to work with. As you see him take massive damage there from that Reaper E. Looks like he is going to get Zerg down here. This is going to be a quick victory, I believe, for Chipsa and Geo. I say that as he just sustains his way. <laughs> Bardo's still very low, but there he is, and he is going to go down there. So quick turnaround from Chips and Geo. A lot more aggression that round. I think that was the right call. That's exactly what you want to do whenever you're facing sustain like this. Great, great you job know, by Chips and Geo. All right, guys, here we go. One more, and Chips and Geo pulled this back to an even split. Swanifer and Bardo now looking to go in on Geo all in. Good picks on Geo. Don't have anything to answer that end cap right now. Geo does get back and get that HP up and looks to re-engage here. Looks like we saw a switch to Soulburn, actually. Swanifer taking massive damage still. Huge, huge Soulburn combo on the chips are there in the back. Geo as well getting caught out with Spear Q by Swan. Bardo landed a good arm strike. Just fast-paced action here, guys. This might be the upset. Do they win off this round? 
good focus on the Geo once again. Swan and Bardo still fairly healthy comparatively. Geo looking to reset a bit here, getting some distance, trying to get an orb. Chips are now holding both guys off. Great, great sword cue there, but does not do the damage needed. That silence is punishing. Huge heart strike coming out once again from Bardo. Chips and Geo getting very low. Massive spear cue on the Swan, though. I think Team Swan might have secured that ult. Swan going down very quickly there, though. Did not expect that huge turnaround with that barrier play. That is huge for Geo and Chipsa. Bardo still very healthy, but once he gets to that fire, they just whack him all him right in. He's got to get his back off that firewall. There he is once again. It's so hard in this situation. He's taking so much damage, and they're just not letting him up. He is just getting chipped down in that fire. That is so punishing. And that is going to be a quick win for Chips and Geo. Great job on there. We are now back 2-2, guys. This is the championship round. We've got one more to go here. All right, here we go, guys. This is our championship round. Let's see if we see the same level of aggression as once before. Swan now landing the sword. He goes for the quick soul burn. Two soul burns, actually. I think Chips and Swan are running it this time around. Bardo taking a lot of damage. Just barely missed that, sword, that spear cube. Swan trying to play for the orb. They do get it. Bardo's going to want to pop it quick here. He's getting rather low. There we go. We see the heart strike come out on the Geo. Good punish there from Swan as well. Geo quickly going after that orb. Good timing as the firewall comes in. Geo taking a lot of damage here. He's trying to get out and rotate. Swanifer actually doing a good job of rotating between Geo and Chips, though. See Geo getting pushed out there by Bardo. They are playing around the orb once again. We're going to see the orb go down quick here. I think Chipsa might have just got that one. No, actually, I think Swan did. Swan's ult is up. We do see Bardo and Swan throw out the golem. Oh, huge damage on the Geo there. Just barely caught Chips in that great sword in that uh, spear cue as well. Chips and Geo playing pretty close together right now, trying to do what they can to keep their HP up. Once again, that soul burn is so punishing as you see Chips' HP tick lower. They need this orb here to get themselves back in this, and they do secure it. Great job by Chips and Geo. Good awareness there. Swan now on the back foot as he's forced out. Chips and Geo slowly inking their way towards an HP advantage here. Fire is getting closer. We've seen these guys play well with it. Bardo taking massive damage. He does hard strike there. That is huge for him. And he does whack chips into the fire. This is what I mean when that fire closes in, guys. That is the play to try to whack the other person in there. Very close here. Swanifer takes huge damage. Chips and Geo once again securing the orb. That is massive for them. Bardo very low. Bardo goes down. Swan now in a 1v2. Very low. Is this going to be it? Reaper Q into the fire. Beautiful play by Chipta. And I think this is it, guys. Not sure what he's going to do here to answer. He's trying to live. But that is it. That final Macy is going to cast him into the flames. And it is going to be 3-2. An upset comeback for Chipsa and Geo. Excellent, excellent play by these guys. That was such a fun match. Okay, guys, so you guys couldn't hear what would happen, but I just heard there was another best of five. Uh, looks like Chipsa and Geo were in the loser's bracket there, so they just fought their way out of it. So now we're going to see the final best of five of the tourney, I believe. So as we go into our next match here, let's see what happens. Geo taking some heavy damage early. Going to go ahead and back out to that HP or smart play by him. Meanwhile, Chipsa is getting punished isolated here. Bardo and Swan being a bit more aggressive here. You see them trying to go in. They know they need to do something drastic here. Tempers might be a little bit high after that last round. Swanifer taking heavy damage. Early oath went out by Swanifer and Bardo. He's going to keep the mage topped up a bit. Huge heart strike comes out. I think he just barely catches uh, 
Kept his chips there. Great slasher cue to deny it. And Chips and Geo right away going to try to go for the orb, but Swanifer and Bardo just managed to steal it with the greatsword there. Huge damage with the Soulbone Carbo on Swanifer. That is such a massive damage advantage. Now we see Geo taking damage. Another ultimate coming out by Bardo. Does manage to get it on Chips though. Swanifer and Geo about the same HP wise. It's still anyone's fight right now. Bardo now getting punished. Huge Expo though. Expo uh, or crossbow auto there on Geo. I don't know if you saw that. That was massive damage. He got the static block as well with it. Geo now needs to be careful here. He's surrounded by them and very low. Great job staying alive by Geo. Chips are getting low as well now. Trying to peel. Double great sword Q. Followed by another one. Bardo getting a bit punished there. We do see another golem won't come out by Bardo and Swan. It's gonna be massive for them. They're pretty much gonna take no damage while they're in this. They're trying to zerg down Geo. Geo's doing a great job with his barrier, keeping him alive. Swanifer there actually feared into the fire. Swanifer getting precariously low as Geo gets a good spear cue on Bardo. Bardo once again landing a good ult. We might see one fall here. Swanifer and Geo getting very low as the fire closes in. This is where Macklemole starts to play. Swanifer might go down here. He lands a good Axie by Chipsa. Swanifer goes down. Bardo now in a 1v2. He's got to try to finish Geo if he wants to stay in this. But that, oh, that Macy. Good hard strike out. I don't know if it's going to be enough. They are just macing him into the fire over and over again. But they are very low themselves. And that is going to be it. A quick Reaper Q to finish it. Very, very close match there. All right, here we come into our next round here. Swan and Bardo once again kind of yo-yoing their way in and out with pressure. Big Swordy. You see a lot of Swordies coming out early from Chips. A massive Spear Q on a Swanifer there. He needs a lot of damage. Geo as well taking damage there. Looks like they managed to answer it. Swanifer going immediately for the HP Orb. Good Soul Burn in the back on Geo. Bardo caught out in the Spear Q, but answered by Swanifer. Oh, followed by the double great sword by Chipsa. Swanifer took massive damage there. Chipsa just hitting him repeatedly with those great swords, doing a lot of damage. Did manage to get the heart strike, but I'm not sure if it's enough. Swanifer now trying to refocus on the orb. Looks like they do notice it. Oh, and they don't. Swanifer doesn't get it in time. Chipsa just barely steals that from him. Great job isolating it. Golem's going out, as you can see, both players popping it. Swanifer and Bottle trying to do something here to change up the momentum, but Chips and Geo might just run away with this. Both teams now sandwiched, trying to circle around, get an advantage. Good pick there on Bardo. Huge heart strike coming out for Swan. Excuse me, for Bardo. I think Geo and Chipsa might have got that orb once again. That is huge for them. Big spear cue on Bardo. Bardo and Swan's got to do something different here. They are slowly getting further and further away. In H oh my gosh, and there it is. The double Reaper Q. That's exactly what they needed to turn this around. As you see Geo there in the back with the Heart Strike on him. He's very low now. And Chips are down as well. That is a quick turnaround for Bardo and Swan. That is exactly what they needed. All right, we are now 1-1, guys. Another tiebreaker round is upon us. We are not quite done. This is best of five. Coming into the next round here. These have been pretty back and forth. See how we approach this one. Great sword Q's coming out. Not quite connecting though. Geo and Chipsa both landing theirs. Orb is up. We start to see Chipsa focus it a little bit as Geo gets caught out in the spear Q there. Answers it again with Bardo. Chipsa does manage to go ahead and secure the orb for their team. Bardo and Swan both very low in this round. Chips and Geo doing a great job of focusing on objectives and making sure they're keeping their priority together here. Bardo and Swan trying to back up towards that HP orb. They do need to get this. See Bardo quickly pick it up there. That's good. They're back in this fight with that orb. Just barely missed the Soulborn there on uh, Swanifer, but he's still taking massive damage. He's trying to get out here. As you can see, Chips applying pressure. Huge spear Q by Chips on the Swan, followed by a great sword by Geo. These guys are being relentless right now. 
Swanifer is just getting absolutely focused right here. He took a lot of damage there. He's about to go down. Does he have ult to answer? I don't think he does. This might be it for Swan. Still living as Bardo tries to, to peel. Great job by Bardo peeling, getting him out of that. Got a little bit of breathing room, but Chips is still laser focused on Swan right now. Swan trying to rotate back in and out. He's trying to get some distance here. He's doing a great job of getting his heals from his dash. Oh, and they do secure the orb. That's huge. Oh, no, I think Geo got that, actually. So close. Swan really needed that as he goes down here. Unfortunate. That is going to be a 1v2 situation once again for Bardo. He does land the hard strike, but he is in a very bad spot here, guys. As you see, the pistol cues coming out, just pushing him all the way back into that fire. Bardo trying to get distance, but he is going to quickly get picked off by the end cap, followed once again by the pistol cue. I love it. Straight into the fire. Kind of playing whack-a-mole with the maze cues as well. There's not much he can do here, guys. He is absolutely just out of sorts. It's so hard to come back in that situation. Great, great play there by Chips and, and uh, Geo. Good focus. Great play by both teams, actually. This has been some really close rounds. 2-1. All right. We need one more win for Geo and Chips if they want to come out on top of this with the victory. Bardo and Swan have got to win here if they want to stay in this. I know the pressure is probably mounting here. Early great sword there onto uh, Bardo. Does not get through the Aegis. Looks like he gets a little bit of damage through there as the Aegis runs out. Still trying to get the orb in the middle there. Looks like Swanifer does secure that one. Chips' ult is already up from that early damage on Bardo. Wanderfer looks like he's working his way towards that orb. He does try to get it. He does secure it, it looks like. Both teams kind of in their respective 1v1s right now. As you see, Bardo be the first to redirect on the Geo. Trying to help out Swanifer. Geo and, and Chips are very healthy right now. They've got the HP advantage here. As you see the early golem coming out as well. Just making sure they maintain it. As they focus on Swan. Swan taking massive damage here. Bardo did get the ult, but I'm not sure that one was worth it. Trying to get focused on Geo. Oh my god, that's a massive, massive fear there. Got both players feared. Swanifer once again getting focused hard with that fear. He is shielded right now. He's forced to go ahead and pop his golem off. Good play. Oh, but he's cut out with the end cap. Double end cap there. They've got to do something to shift the momentum or Geo and Chips are going to run away with this. Swanifer getting massively low here. Trying to get distance. He knows he needs this orb to heal. Does manage to secure it, I believe. That's good, but they're still very disadvantaged here. Oh, that Reaper Q just absolutely shredded Swanner for once again. Chips are landing the max range great sword. Oh my god, Swanifer is just getting juggled right now. He can't seem to get away from it. He's trying to live. He's trying to ink his way out, but Chips is laser focused. He did not land his heal for his dash either. That is not good. Bardo doing what he can to try to peel, but Chipsa once again landing another great sword. He needs it that he needs that orb in the middle once again, but Swan for so low he goes down. Bardo stuck in a very tough spot once again. I don't know if he has an answer for it with this toolkit. These guys have very a very huge advantage with the mosquitoes here. Good damage on the Geo, but uh, just whack them all straight into the fire. We're gonna start to see the damage shift here if he keeps getting hit into that. Good Golem ult, trying to make sure he sustains while he's back against the fire there. Those spheres once again just running him left and right. He's trying to get damage down, but ah, that might be it, guys. Yep, that is going to be it. And I think with that, we've got our victors. Looks like that is going to be it. We've got Chipsa and Geo coming in with the W for our final rounds here. Very, very exciting fights. Not sure who we still have in Discord here. Any final words for our audience, guys? Okay, I'm back, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. See you around, guys. And thank you, Grim, for the legendary shotcast. Thank you. <laughs> My Amazing. Pleasure, man. It was a blast, as always. Definitely look forward to it. And this guys, see you in the arena. And uh, yeah. Don't forget, have fun, guys. All right, guys. We'll see you. Take care. Thanks for stopping by again.